Hey guys, it's DuConRed1 and welcome back to another Minecraft video, episode 22 of the Castle series. And we have quite a bit to do today, uh, quite a bit of updating to do, and I'm excited to give you guys a, uh, a look into what I've done um, this past week. And I'm going to try to start making these episodes weekly for a while because this is what I have been solely working on for the past... Uh, two weeks or so and I've really been doing quite a bit trying to catch up and get a lot done um, You'll see all these red markers. Uh, I'm gonna be making a stream tonight. I'm recording this on Saturday and tonight I'm gonna be streaming um, So uh, we're gonna be working on that uh, me and monster fish monster fish has been helping me uh, Change some things around so this is still gonna look a lot different um, towards the end of the stream tonight and looking forward to doing that But for right now what I want to show you mainly is the barracks that I've added on this is the uh, the barracks tower Which I am very happy with really works out. Well, I really like how it turned out and it really adds in a new feature into the castle a new edge that really is quite um, interesting and it's I, I really like it also for those of you that didn't like the lamps handy hanging from the trees we changed that up uh, so remove the bushes and we're gonna be doing some stuff down there as well and then um, that is about that that for the outside and what we're going to be doing is uh, updating and showing you what I've done on the inside because that's where the main updating has been this week First of all, I want to show you, um, basically I finished the whole barracks. Uh, the whole barracks tower has been done, or finished, so what we're going to do is go through that. Now I have adopted a more minimalist interior style, as you can tell. It really is a lot different than what I usually do. As you can see, it's more open, which is good, because uh, on a castle like this, it's you know supposed to be more open because there's so much space inside to work with and all that good stuff so anyway see if i only had you know this if i uh, remain with my original tower it would have only been this interior here and then this wouldn't wouldn't have been added on so i'm really glad i added on the tower because it adds in a whole lot more space but anyways as we go into here this is um basically the feasting hall for not the feasting hall basically just a dining room per se for the the guards here there is going to be a kitchen a small kitchen now some of you are saying well castles didn't have this castles didn't have that um, I'm going for a more uh, I guess fantasy like if you think about castles from say I don't know like Snow White and the Huntsman or you know something like that I'm talking about more of a fantasy like uh, something more like the realistic but you know it's half realistic half fantasy and that's what I'm really trying to go for I'm not trying to go for that strongly uh, realistic castle um, now I do plan in the future to actually go as close to realism as possible for uh, maybe another project but like right now I'm just going very fantasy so um, that's that's something that's kind of how my build style style works is I just want to be uh, you know just build what I want to do you know it's I enjoy it and it works for me so um, there are things in the castle that you probably won't think make sense uh, being several kitchens because this is going to have a kitchen uh, you know the barracks is going to have a kitchen the secondary feasting hall is going to have a kitchen and then the primary palace etc will have a kitchen as well but that'll be in the future updates so anyway this here is a garderobe I thought that this was a pretty good place for it seeing it's just downstairs from the um, the dining room now something that uh, also I know about castles is you know typically guard robes would be all part of the same shoot you know some of them at least would be part of the same shoot so that you know you could have just one shoot going down to the latrine um, but what I like to do is you know just add in it adds in more features to the exterior and at the same time you know makes it more comfortable and that's you know I'm going for both of those you know making good exterior features and also making it uh, more features on the inside I added in a few windows here because this would probably be a pretty smelly room um, then you know there'd be stuff probably you know whatever and then you know there's some things up here to sort of air it out um, now the it also goes up to here so I don't have any doors separating it but I think overall it'd be a pretty okay room because obviously you're pooping through a hole and you're not like it's not a chamber pot or anything so this here goes up to more or less a lounge uh, 
I'm gonna buy him a mess up there, but I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, but this is like a little lounge, a little um, like common area where the guards could sort of sit around a fire and play some cards. You know, kind of relax in a way and there's some there's gonna be more of these throughout the castle but uh, this is like the only main one I have so far but we'll see later on uh, different things here is the sergeant's office now I'm not sure about the plants and everything but I just I didn't really know what to do with this room you know it was really small so I added in the uh, this you know this stuff and I just feel like it worked out pretty good and this is sergeant Mc McCaffrey um, it's after the name of somebody on the server. Anyway, you got a couple doors here. You go into here. This is another guard robe. All you gotta do is open up that little bottom thing, crouch down and do your, your deed. So there's a lot of different things going on uh, that make it, um, you know, a lot of different guard robes, a lot of things that aren't quote unquote realistic. You know, something that you wouldn't see in a real castle, but in a fantasy castle, you know, who knows? You know, there it could be anything in a fantasy castle. You know, I'm, I'm talking, wizards and stuff so uh but yeah something like that and you know yeah so basically what i want to tell you about when you're doing uh the interior of a castle see the biggest thing is you want your walls to be too thick because that gives you the ability to be able to do walls like this to be able to make really grand interiors now something you're always going to run into is biome issues as you can see you know uh even this right here there's a biome issue there's always going to be stuff like that and you just got to deal with it. You got to figure out how, you know, what interior style you're going to go with in order to minimize those, um, you know, those issues. And so I did that. Also the roofs in here, I make sure that all the roofs are always sort of grand. Like if you come in here, I mean, this isn't really grand, but it's kind of just like a little walkway up there. You see that this roof is sort of grand. Um, say if we go into this bedroom, you know, I have lots of things going on. Always make sure that your ceilings are very, um, you know, looks like there's rafters and boards up there. You know, I even should put some cobwebs up here or something, you know, stuff like that. Always want to make sure that your ceilings have some sort of depth to them or something that looks, you know, interesting. You know, it's not just a flat, uh, you know, flat surface that it actually has a good bit of depth to it and that's that's a big thing so also you'll see that I use a, a three tall bunk bed design uh, for rooms like these you have nine soldiers each and I feel like it's enough room hopefully I mean obviously it'd be a little crowded in here I mean typically it would be make more sense to have maybe four or five beds in here but I'm trying to fit as many guards into this thing as possible now here is one of the uh, like say if you're a lesser guard like say these are like uh, you know a special type of guard maybe they're uh, pikemen or I don't know like higher class guards you know they would have their own room whereas you know these would be the lower class maybe just archers or swordsmen normal swordsmen that are just hired out of the uh, out of the common folk and then they are put in here so sort of like a, a tier class and then you have some more over here and this is more like a private room kind of thing get nice windows out uh, so you got your own windows there and then you have a little door that goes out here uh, except they don't have a fireplace so that's one thing but this would warm up everything now some have said that the fireplaces are a bit big um, but I just kind of like it how it turned out it looks pretty good it has a lot of area to heat up anyway like it has to heat up this hallway um, also the heat would go up the stairs there etc but anyway I don't want to hang on you know these things too long because we have some stuff we want to do today um, so here's another quarters in here again nine soldiers sitting in here they got their own little closet here at the end with some clothes in there that's something I'm trying to add in more as closets because obviously they would need some place places to store their uh, their goods and you know their clothes and armor who knows excuse me so up here is um, a rather luxurious bath bath um, chamber thing you know I have several baths in here etc like here's a larger bath and it's even candles over it I don't I see I've only put candles up here because I didn't really know what else to put up there I guess what I could do actually it doesn't really make sense to do this I, I guess but you know maybe put it like a towel there and then I don't know maybe a flower pot and say that it maybe holds like soap or something 
you guys can fill in the blank there. But I, yeah, I just feel like you know you don't need candles up there, <laughs> candlelight bath. So, um, but anyway, I thought that was a pretty good idea to have a little bathroom up here. Also, we got a laundry room up here. Here is where they have washboards for the laundry, and then they would take the laundry out and put the laundry up here uh, to dry in the sun, which is actually a really good place for it because it overlooks the, uh, you know, this is where the sun would be going back and forth. And anyways, yep, yeah, that's good. So we're gonna go back in. This is over the gatehouse of which we're going to be revising. This here is a, a way to draw water from Maybe there's going to be a cistern down there. Uh, this goes all the way down to the cellars, by the way. As you can see, this is the cellars. And this is where they would have, you know, extra water or whatever. And they would uh, draw water from maybe a underground spring or a cistern or who knows. There's, there's a lot of different, uh, you know, possibilities. I'm probably going to go with a cistern or a, a spring. We will see. Um, so let's see, what else can we show you guys? Oh yeah, there is some cooler things to see. Um, here's a porch out here, a place where the after you take your nice bath, you can come out and uh, enjoy the sunlight. Also, I took out all those trees out there because there's really it really lags uh, to have trees out there. Also, you notice that it's much less laggy. Um, I overclocked my graphics card and uh, right now it's doing really well like even temperature everything is doing great and i hope that it doesn't increase my chances I mean, it does increase my chance of burning out but um it's doing amazing like my graphics card is much better now um i think it's because my graphics card i have an msi uh, okay let me let me okay it's an msi um gtx 970 4 gig and uh from what i understand it is meant to be overclocked so here we have what I call the orange room. This is the Sergeant McCaffrey's bedroom. This is where um, his office was downstairs, which you had seen before. And this is where he would um, sleep, up here. And so I thought it would be a pretty good idea to have it up here. It's a little odd because, you know, say if he's married, you know, obviously, you know, he has a big bed here. Um, and it'd be kind of awkward because, you know, if you have, if the lady has to go to the bathroom, obviously you have a barracks full of men. And uh, yeah, they're all over the woman, so interesting. So we'll move on from that subject. We have another garderobe here, uh, crap off the side, and uh, that's cool beans-ish. Now we're gonna go up to the next floor, which is right here. This goes up to the top of that tower, and this is where it's sort of like a officer's lounge or like where guards would be. Obviously, you could shoot arrows out down at the causeway. There's gonna be a lot of revision, not to the up here or anything, uh, but to the outside and stuff. There's gonna be more ways to shoot down on the causeway eventually, so. I've also been adding in heads. If you guys want to see those heads, all you gotta do is do slash warp arc on the raven.org server look around and you're going to find a big list of heads um where that you yet you can use on your build i'm still building that up i don't have it completely finished but uh there is a lot of heads there that you can uh, work yet you can work with so now this here is the captain of the guards um bedroom and you know room and everything oh my goodness biomes really really Okay, so I am expecting lots of biome issues up here. There's another one right there. Uh, but one way or the other, it is what it is. I can't really do anything about it. It's just, oh, biomes. So here's also the stair tower to come up. And the cool thing about this is you have a direct route to get to the keep, uh, or not the keep, but the great hall over here. So you have uh, the captain of the guard has an easy way to get from his, where he sleeps and lives over here to where he works. Like he would have to uh, probably be the personal escort to the king and etc. Trying to keep make sure that he's safe. So this is his bedroom in here, and I really went all out trying to figure out different wall design. You know, you know what I wanted. I wanted it to be really grand, and I think I have. Um, achieved the grand that I was looking for and uh, yeah so that is what it is I use the gold up at the top I use the other gold for the walls here etc and it really turned out pretty nice I think so um, anyway here is a uh, little bathtub for him to take a bath in and he also has his own garderobe again I'm pretty sure I'm saying the right thing it, it is garderobe right it's not like a privy or anything. I'm pretty sure it's a guard robe. But anyway, um, we're going to head over. Uh, he has a closet too. Yep, in there. So that is that. 
So now what we're going to do for the last um, six minutes or so, actually it's probably going to be 10 minutes, is we're going to actually try to work on a little bit of the interior of the uh, secondary dining hall. And we're going to try to work on that a little bit. Uh, like I said, uh, we're going to be working on streaming tonight. Um, but again, tonight is Saturday the 16th, so uh, this will be uploaded uh, quite a bit past that. So anyways... Um, we're gonna go ahead and work on this. This is the secondary dining hall that I have said several many times before. We got a pretty interesting roof going on here. I really like this design. This is actually where I got the uh, idea for using the gold blocks is in that design like that. It's sort of a renaissance kind of uh, style to it, which I, I don't mind one bit. I think it works out pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and do this all the way along and I'm going to use the same seat design that I used for the other hall. I'm going to use uh, basically just black because I don't want to use up biomes because if I use all the biomes um, that it, I have and uh, it just would really not be good because uh, you know maybe I want to do some other stuff up here that would require more biomes. So. I gotta try to minimize what I use and try to make it work out the best I can. So I'm gonna go from here to over here and we're gonna set this to 5.9. Sorry, I have a new keyboard layout, so it's kinda, or a new setup. It is 5.9, right? It is, wait, set 5.9. There we go, I did the wrong number or something. So there we go, that's what we wanted to do. Uh, I feel like a wood floor works out pretty good. This here heads down to the kitchen, so you have a direct route to get up and then through the great hall in here. You could have like a little jester or dancers here at where this table L's like this, um, you know, use or whatever uh, like that. So I think that works out pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and use beds. That's what I have been using to fill in the spaces. And I would prefer not to. I would prefer just to use the seats. But again, biomes are the issue. Uh, for those of you that were wondering about Conquest and its future and everything, there are people that are working on mods right now. There's one, his name is Creative Realms. He is working on a mod that will work for current versions of Minecraft. So there is work in progress to try to produce a, uh, a good mod that uh, people can use. So the only thing I'm thinking about is maybe extending these tables one more, so making them one more thick, so like one more this way. But the thing is, is I would probably like to put things on the walls, like, I don't know, cabinets or something that would make it look a little bit better. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and keep doing what we're doing and hopefully it'll work out. So over here, I think I'm going to use seats. You know, there's really nothing going on above it, so we could use seats here because there is no issues with biomes, hopefully, as long as the sellers don't contradict. Uh, as long as we are good there, I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to make this a throne, uh, some sort of like Lord seat or not a lord seat, but like a, a a larger seat than the rest. Maybe, maybe this is where the captain of the guard sits. I, I don't know. Guys, give me suggestions. You know, what would you think or what? Maybe I should actually raise this up a little bit. Do you guys think maybe I should raise that table up one? Um, for right now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. We'll, we might raise it up later on. But let me know in the comments if you think I should raise it up. The only thing if we raise it up, you know, we're gonna have to move some things around. Uh, these are gonna be banners there. And then we got like a balcony going around up here. And I don't know, it might look good if I raise it up one. Like if I raise it up here going along and then have like a half slab along the, the same line. So let's, let's try it. Let's just try it, you know? What will we have to lose? We don't have anything to lose. So we're going to go ahead and do copy. And then we're going to do slash slash. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I, I know what I'm doing. Whoops. Okay. Let's try this again. We're going to go ahead and do slash slash copy. And then we're going to go up one. We're going to do slash slash paste. All right. So we are one 
block up, right? Yes. All right, so now we have a little bit more of a, I'm not even sure what this is called. Is this called a dais? Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm no expert. Uh, I don't claim to be. I am just a, a builder. I just like to build, and that's all I can say about that. Um, you know, when people see me, they expect me to be this incredible builder. Uh, I, I can build, yes, but, you know, I don't know all these terms and such. Mainly because I, I just, I don't know, I just have never taken the time to really go in and memorize all these different terms because there is a lot of things to, uh, to consider when you are um, researching into such things because there's so many different names for things and it, it's just interesting. Now, obviously, I really don't like how this throne <laughs> looks right now. What I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and do this to make it a little more, um, you know, agile, something like that. Uh, I guess that looks pretty good. I don't know. The top obviously needs a little bit of work, so we can might be able to put in some oak wood, maybe? We can try that. And also, I just got an idea. What if we put a bunch of animal heads up on these walls? Like an animal head there, there, and there, and there. So like different, you know, deer, a moose, an elk. That might be a good idea to add in eventually. Um, a lot of this I won't be able to do on uh, camera. Uh, it'll be mostly on stream if I do that. And uh, that the reason of that is because... You know, it's really kind of difficult to rush, rush, rush like this and build because, you know, it's a lot's expected of you. You know, you, people like you guys expect me to build this really amazing thing just like right off the bat and like know exactly what to do. Uh, the truth is, is I don't, you know, I got to work with it. I got to sort of, um, you know, I got to take my time and that's just how I have to build and that's pretty much how anyone has to build to be honest. You know, there is really no secret to building other than taking your time and trying to do the best that you can. Um, but you, you know, I, I have so much to learn, so many things to continue to to work on and try to uh, to become better. That's what I want. I want to uh, work on my building and work on my skill level and try to uh, improve much more than what I am now. And that's the key, guys, is don't give up. Like, don't get comfortable. I, I am, a, I guess I am guilty with that because at times I have become comfortable with how I build. And, you know, it sort of pushes me now because I've been inspired by other people about, you know, being more, not competitive in nature, but, you know, trying to just do the best you can. Don't... Don't just settle for second best. Always try to work your way up. Always try to find new ways to do what you do. Uh, and you know, a lot of that is helped or uh, you know is easier. You have a easier time because of different textures that get added into the game, and uh, that helps me out a lot. Is when uh, Monsterfish adds in new textures and such. It really helps you find new ways to do things. You know, even if it's not meant for that, you know, specific thing, it, uh, you know, you could still use it for that. And I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So anyways, I think that that will go ahead and conclude this episode. We are going on 24 minutes now, and I don't want to uh, take any more of your time. But for right now, uh, this is kind of how I plan the dining hall to look. The chairs might change a little bit and I might make the tables a little thicker uh, because right now they might be a little thin, but we'll be uh, working on that during the stream today and uh, later streams, etc. These are also going to be hearths here. I uh, guess I could go one back. Can I go back? Oh, I can. I could easily fix that. Just put a wall there. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's just go ahead and do this really quick, and then I'm going to go ahead and end the video uh, because we don't want to come out towards the wood. We don't want it to be right on the wood. That wouldn't be any good, I think. So let's just go ahead and do this because we want it to go down a little bit. I hope we can do it on this side. Can we do it on this side? Please, please, please. 
All right, so we have a little bit of an issue there, but again, I can fix it just like uh, I'm gonna fix the other side. That'll give us uh, plenty of room. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then down here, I might actually make it go up some. Let me go ahead and just get this to the glowing. Do we want it to go down or we want it to go up? Let me go ahead and do I fire. That's a bit odd. We want it to go up. You know, I was thinking maybe putting like a pig here or something, and I guess it just works better to do it this way. Uh, but for right now, you guys get the idea. I'm gonna have fireplaces on both sides like that, and uh, you guys get the idea. You can sit over here and sort of see what it's gonna look like, and I hope that that's gonna work out really good. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm sorry for the sort of long, longer, lengthier video, but. Uh, I hope you enjoyed one way or the other, and I enjoyed it very much. So, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget that I have a Facebook and a Twitter that you guys can follow me on, uh, that you guys can see more. Um, you know, I, I try to update you on a reasonably daily basis uh, on what I'm doing, and hopefully uh, we can get pretty strong over there on Facebook and Twitter. So, um, cool beans. And what was I going to say? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, up a bye.